Hey, good morning, everyone. We're here for the Village of Vermont Community Design Review Committee, Tuesday, May 14th, 11 a.m. Our first application is Congregation of Echo Ridge, 1 and 3 Echo Ridge Road, for a freestanding place of worship with a special permit and a proposed am amended site, site plan and lot line merger. Hi, Rachel Baris for the applicant. Um, we were here previously um, in February and March. Um, and we revised the plan based on the updated zoning that had changed. Um, so now the application is for a freestanding place of worship based on the updated zoning. It will exceed 10,000 square feet, so it will need a special permit. Um, we did try to go through um, the variances that are going to be required. Um, I think that we probably now, based on what we've seen on some of the others, um, the development coverage may be able to come out. I left it in just because I'm gonna leave it to Lou because we are asking for the, we're asking for a variance for less than 10 foot buffer um, to the parking. And so since the way the code is worded, I wasn't positive if we could do the development coverage as a waiver. So I included it as asking for a variance. I'd rather ask for it and then we don't need it. Um, we are providing the storm water though, um, which I know is one of the things that is required. Um, otherwise, um, I don't know if there's anything specific you want me to go through to start. Otherwise we can go through if there's any comments. I guess I'll just go through my comments real quick. Uh, so comment one is just noting that it's an unlisted action and we need a secret resolution. Uh, comment two, uh, I won't go in depth on all these to save time, but uh, the fire lane striping has to be eight feet wide. I don't think it's shown as eight feet wide on the plan. Um, architectural review committee needs to review the plans. Uh, and so um, I, I last review, we were asking for a traffic study and I don't know where that stands or what's the deal with that, but we did ask for it. Um, and uh, comment five notes that there is a bunch of variances on the plans and that uh, the ZBA, if they grant them has to be included on the plans. Okay. Um, and then of course the lot line consolidation, which would be a condition of approval. So yeah. under, under the engineering comments, I think most of them are self-explanatory. Under comment eight, we weren't sure, and the last we talked, we weren't sure if a SWIP was required, but we, you were gonna put on the plans, or at least we asked to show the limits of disturbance with a note that whatever the disturbance is, and if it fell below one acre, then it wouldn't apply. And I looked- Okay, uh, I'll update very that. Difficult, Sorry. Okay, very difficult on the- uh, on the digital drawings, it's hard to do reviews on digital drawings because there's different sheets and you got to zoom in and zoom out. And so I don't know if I missed that or if it's just not shown on the plan. That's fine. I'll check. Otherwise, I can update it and add it. All right. And uh, I don't know if there's anything specific with regards to the engineering comments that you want to discuss, but that's pretty much our review. Nothing stands out to me. Um, so, I mean, I did see that you had for the new code, a 10 foot buffer areas required to the parking for landscaping. Um, and then the rabbi indicated that he spoke with the village and that a variance was able to be requested. So we're asking for a variance to have less than 10 feet um, to fit in as much parking as they could. Okay, so uh, is there, in a, to address that comment, do you have, maybe some sort of stockade fence six foot high or something that can be put there to kind of buffer from the adjoining. We were property. showing a four foot high vinyl privacy fence for now. Um, so if I can interrupt for a second, the applicant here, there is a six foot fence there already. I oh. made these arrangements with the neighbors years back and it's fully fenced on all sides and planted eight foot trees. I mean, by now they were six foot when we planted them two, three years ago. It's fully landscaped and fully fenced at the buffers mm -hmm. between myself and the neighbors. Oh, okay. Before we developed this, it's, it's there already. It's it's there on your property or on their property. So not that so, it matters. 
I know um, um, part of part of it is on mine, part of it is on theirs, okay. and then I paid for it. Okay. I, I I put it in, and whatever we whatever agreement we had. And as mentioned previously, okay. so, I am one of the neighbors on the other side. Okay, so maybe the plan could just be reflected to show the existing uh, 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 landscaping and the existing fence. I don't know. I may have missed it, but it does uh, show. It does show a lot of trees. Fence is shown, show but um. I'll check on the land, some of the landscaping, because we only locate if there are more significant sizes. So okay. I'll, I'll check what we have. I mean, if there is a six foot fence there now, I don't really think you need to put another four foot. You can if you want. But if it's there, okay. it's there. Um, I just think the plans need to be clear. OK. So from my end, I mean, I don't have a problem with going to planning um, the comment regarding traffic. I don't know if you want to talk about that, but uh, uh, all the other stuff, I think, you know, I, the plans are of sufficient detail, in my opinion, that we can you know, move to planning. <clears throat> Boo, you're OK with planning, Chris? Yeah. yeah, I'm fine with it, too. OK, John, I think I asked this at the first CDRC. He has an, uh, a stormwater agreement from the first time okay. do we just look at that and see if anything needs to change or do we i would say yeah just submit it and you know if it's still in effect and it covers everything then there's no need to upgrade it but i'd, I'd like to look at it all right so i'll send you a copy okay it's a slightly different agreement now than it was years ago so we might just have to update the agreement but keep the escrow but that's not for me to decide. Okay, you'd have to look at that, John. I will. All right. So we're going to proceed to planning. Lou, yes. did you have anything specific? Nope. Okay. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you a know, good day. Thank you. Do you know the thank date you. of the, that this one would be on? I, I'll um talk to you after the meeting. I'll send you the schedule. Okay. okay, awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thank day. you. All right, you too. Bye. All right. Our next application is Avas Bas Yaakov School at 12 North Airmont Road, uh, an educational institution without accessory housing, and it's a proposed site plan. And I believe we have Mr. Baum on for the applicant. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hi, Paul. Five fourteen. Yeah, this is a new one. This is a new one. So this is the existing office building over on um, North Airmont Road. I'm sure um, you might be familiar with it. So the plan is to convert this to uh, a school for um, girls 14 to 17 years of age. Um, and to, you know, make it work. It's an existing improved site. We're eliminating some of the parking that we don't need to get better circulation. The um, um, They're not anticipating big buses, but van light buses that will be able to uh, easily circulate. And then I understand that since, since um, we submitted this, there's been other discussions, and, and Shimmy, you can help me on this maybe, um, about eliminating the parking in the rear of the building and using that for an outdoor area for the girls to to um, get out of the building. Yeah, so so the backyard was going to be for the bear, for the kids to play and plus for the circulation of the fire trucks. So so we have those one, I think there are seven parallel parking spaces. Um, in the back that would be eliminated. So it would reduce our parking a little, but I, I think we still have enough. Yes, we did that analysis. It would be enough parking. And based on the plan from Paul Gadansky, in order for the fire trucks to be able to get around the entire building, that uh, there will be no parking in the back, only in the front. Well, I don't, I don't think the fire truck can get around the building anyway, but uh, I mean, we have a plan with Paul did it that it has it. Yeah, it can get, it can circulate around the parking area in the front. 
right, but right. But it's it's not going to get behind the right. building. There's only about twenty feet of area there. That... Correct, but they can still go from the street over there to get into the back if needed. Yeah, they can fight it from the parking lot. They can fight it from you know the the right of way. So, yes. but that so so that's that's the um. The plan now is to eliminate those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. And then that would increase the yard because we were measuring the yard to the parking spaces. So I don't, that would eliminate a couple of the variances as well. Well, again, it's all existing. Yes. yes. So in my planning comments, that's comment number two, that there is a bunch of variances, but they appear to be pre-existing uh, due to the change of use, not necessarily the creation as a result of a proposed structure, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, so, it's, uh, it's you're, 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 you're correct, um, John. It's, it's, we're, we're not proposing any modifications to the site other than eliminating some of these parking spaces, no new improvements. Um, so with the elimination of the parking spaces, including the ones that you just talked about, you, you still meet the the the, uh, the the new code requirements for required parking spaces, or you don't? No, I th I think we do. We're only we're only okay. required to have twenty four. Okay. Um, we were showing thirty something. Okay. All right. We're so yeah, I mean, if you uh, if you if you want to eliminate some and you still meet the code, I I have no objection to that. Yeah, I so, mean, e e even what's required by code is 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 um, more than they need, you know, for the for the way the school operates and the number of full time staff. Um, so, you know, e even even though we we need to have twenty four spaces, they don't anticipate using any more than, you know, seven or eight spaces during the course of a day, um, based upon the, the the demands of the staffing. So, and all students are bust, correct? All students are bust. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so jumping into my comments, uh, that was comment two. Under one, uh, the policy has been, uh, I know you indicated you want to make this a type two because there's really no physical change to the site other than eliminating, spa eliminating spaces, but there is a change of use. So there may be other impacts, not maybe not necessarily related to site plan itself. So for that reason, we have been classifying change of use applications as an unlisted action under seeker. So right. uh, I'm, just, I'm just telling you that's that's what the seeker regs say. Um, and that's why I said it's it's uh, uh, it should be a type two. I understand that we do have a change of use. I, I understand that. But I think the seeker regs, um, that's the basis for that section is that the, the use is being changed um, from one use to another. But um i'll i'll let i'll let chris weigh in on that the appropriate time it's, i don't think it's a big sticking okay. issue here all right and then uh there will be an increase in water and wastewater uh probably significant from an office to um a school so we do need rockland county sewer and health department um comment four uh the eaf did identify wetlands on site so we're asking you to show the wetlands or if there aren't any just note that on the plans um, we need county highway review. And so this, this is subject to county planning to, uh, GML 239, yes, if I'm not mistaken, yes. because it's on a county highway. So the engineering comments, um, obviously they're, they're, they're not much because there's not much change of, of physical site. So I think there's an incorrect reference to acreage on the plans. Um, I, I think that says I think that says zero point six five, not ten point six five. The one I looked and I zoomed in on it twice said ten point six five. So okay. maybe it was on a different sheet. So uh, so anyway, uh, we're asking um, for the, to show the drop drop bus off area with signage for no parking, water sewer utilities. Um, we do recommend to extend the sidewalk to the property along the bond. Um, so that's part of our comments. And where where uh, is where is that the sidewalk? So, yeah, can you call the plan up there? 
Here, I'll share the screen. Hold on. Uh, here, here. Ah. Uh, you want to pull it up? Oh, along the Bond Avenue. Is nobody talking or do I lose my volume? Somebody's trying Nobody's to pull talking. up the map. So. Oh, okay. I thought someone was <laughs> going to pull up the map. I just shared the screen. Did you want to pull up the map? Do you have it to pull to put up? Um, you want me to do it? Sure. Okay. Let me just go to my share. Okay, so here's, oh, so you're talking along this side. Yes. I, I don't, why would we need to do that? Uh, well, if you can go to the site plan, that would be better than the pictures. No, I'm just, I'm just looking where, where we put the sidewalk, look, look at the pictures and, and why would we need a sidewalk along Devon Avenue? And where where would we fit it? So, you, so you see it slopes down. It, I see that it slopes down, but my question would, is the sidewalk. You'd want, to, you'd want to eliminate all these trees here. Uh, Lighting. I mean, the, the the I guess the question is because it is a, a a road. You know, if pedestrians, I would prefer pedestrians walk on a sidewalk than walk on the road. Well, there's, so, there's, a, there's a sidewalk. Here, here there's a sidewalk on the other side that leads all the way up into the senior center. Okay. Uh, all right. Can you pull up the site plan? Because um, it's it's hard to relate exactly where this is in relation to the site plan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me just stop. I got to stop sharing, and then where is? Oh, here it is. Here's the submission. Site plan. Okay. Let me do that again now. Share. Site plan. Share. Okay. So there we go. So see if we can zoom in. So yeah, roll down there a little. So the sidewalk ends right there. And sidewalk ends my, right here. Yeah. So my question is, I guess, so will pedestrians be? I, I I don't want. I mean, it's a it's a street, so I would prefer to pedestrians not walk on the street. So the question is, if pedestrians are coming down to Bond Avenue to this facility, do they need to walk on to Bond Avenue? If the answer is yeah, I'd prefer to see the sidewalk extended so they can walk oh, on the sidewalk. Yeah, no but there's, there's no pedestrians coming down from the Bond. That's a senior facility. The kids are going to be bussed. And even if they had to, as as I showed you on the oh. on the Google map, there's a wow. there's a um a sidewalk on the other side of the road that leads right okay. into the residential yeah. center. Yeah. So they can come okay. right down to the intersection and then cross here. All right. Okay. You can you uh, convinced me. Well. So okay. we'll 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 uh that. scratch that comment. How's that? <laughs> that uh, that section of Dubon is actually a private road for the use of the senior complex only. Okay. So in light of that, I agree. So you can nix comment, uh, whatever seven. it is. Comment seven. Okay. All right, what else we got? A show drop off with appropriate signage. Oh, that's just a, a dupe. Eight and four of it are, are dupes. Show uh, accessible. We do have the letter from the fire department.
Um, okay. Accessibility. Didn't we? Didn't we show a turning radius? I think we did. Which, yeah. Which comment are you referring to? Well, you you had uh, a comment that um, the plan show fire access is acceptable with the removal of a parking spaces. And then I just noted that we got the Tolman Fire Department letter in and they were asking, they they said that the plans did not show the maneuverability or turning analysis. I, so, I mean, my plan showed it. I had, uh, yeah. I think Paul, he showed the fire truck going in and he showed the radiuses coming back out. So yeah. my, my plan showed it, but. Yeah, my, and my plans that. have it too, which is why I'm surprised at the fire department's letter, which is why I'm bringing it up. Okay. So maybe you just want to resubmit and make sure that and when you send it to them, if you can do it electronically, I often find, especially in the digital world, that when you just say, you know, we address the comment, that's a lot harder than saying, see page four, blah, 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 yeah, no, yeah, number no. six. And, and then it, it takes two seconds to go to that page and see that it's been addressed. Yeah. Susan, did they not get the full site plan for some reason? No, they got there the site is. plan. I give them a di uh, a hard copy. I'll ask them if they want digital, but they have in the past have always preferred a hard copy. All right, so I just don't understand the. I'll concept. mention it to them. Okay. I'll email them back and say it's on there to please relook at it and provide an updated letter. Great, thank you. Uh huh. So, John, just to go back to your comment number three um, about additional landscaping, um, where where do you envision that you'd like to see some some additional stuff? So it looks so behind the building, you have it looks like some parking spaces. Right. So and obviously they go right to, I guess, the Bourne Avenue. No big deal. But is there any way, I know there's not much room there, but you could either, I, I don't know what's behind there. Oh, there's a fence there now. Yeah, yeah. Here's what's behind there. It's oh. a lot of scrub growth. Oh, 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 oh okay. Building. So, so I, maybe I missed it, but the site plan didn't show that fence there. Maybe it did and I didn't see it. So if it didn't. I don't, please, I'm not seeing a fence. Oh, what is that thing I'm looking at here? See it? It's a white thing. Yes, building. That, I think that's, that's the building. side of the building, building right behind us. So, so this is a change of use. So then, and there, there, there may be, uh, at least there in my opinion, a, a, a difference between there, an office and and a school. So, it, 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 I think it might be important to 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 put a fence there or screen it where maybe it wasn't required for an office, um, but being that it's being converted to a school, that it's warranted. So I, I do see some vegetated, some vegetated, you can see in the wintertime, you can see right through it. So it's, it doesn't provide full screening. It probably does during the summer. But uh, maybe looking to try to put in, putting in a, a, a stockade uh, fence right there. Excuse me, the, the yeah, owner put in that a fence. Paul, oh, there, is a fence there is a fence already. They put in recently a fence. They put in oh. a fence? Yeah. Okay. They did put a fence. Yes. What, what okay. kind of fence is there? It's a chain link fence. Chain link, with, with with the slats going through it, or just the green open. Oh, just just the open them um, because now when the everything grows in, it's literally it's a shame to cut down whatever is there now. Yeah. Well, it's you know, cheap. you can relatively cheaply add the slats, so the slats make a big difference for for for. Uh, okay. So maybe maybe you want to look into just slatting it, so that that provides full screening in addition. So you don't need to take the fence <clears> down <throat> or add to it, but it yeah, does but, uh, it, but it does provide much better buffer screening. What are, what are, we, what are we screening to? Uh, a, a slab wall? Uh, Manufacturing facility. Okay, I mean, uh, it's, 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 it's look at it. Can, just we can put in the slots. Wall. We can put in the slots, no problem. Okay, thank you. All right. That's all I got. Okay. All right, and I'll go to the fire department and get something else. A new letter. Shimmy, are those gates going to remain there, the one on the side of the building and the one at the rear access driveway? Yes. All right, are they going to be locked? Um, 
I don't think it's going to be locked. What but, gates? You have gates up here now, Shimmy? Yeah, uh, there's one right there, and there's one on the other end of the building. But it's not to be locked. It's just to stop cars from going to the back. Okay. I see the right. fire department asked about it. Because if you lock it, we'd have to put it in the knock box. Correct, but but it's not going to be it's it's not to be locked. It's open every it's open. They they close at the beginning of the day. They open it. It's an open fence. It's just for cars not to park in the back. So, you we should you should tell uh Gidansky to put that on his site plan to show the gates. No problem. And to eliminate the parking. And show fence. Okay. In well, rear. Just, just the slats. The fence is already there. Yes. Yep. But it, it's not it's not called out on the site plan, so I want him right. to show it on the site plan. Correct. Okay. So next steps, everyone. Lou, Lou did you have any comments? Uh, what fire access, fire code. On the fire, you got plenty of room to drive a fire truck through there. My only question is the outdoor recreation. Is there any? Well, that's no. that's what they're going to make the the backyard for. That that area where we eliminate the parking and they put the fence up. That's going to be used for, from what I understand, for outdoor recreation for the for the girls. Mm. Okay. So you're going to show yeah. that on the next uh, set of plans. Okay. Outdoor. Right. That's actually a good location because you really don't need the parking. Can I? So... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything else, Chris? You have anything? I have nothing. Um, actually, one question. Yeah, I do. Um, you you said you thought it was uh, type two secret. Which um, which provision are you uh, saying it's type two under? I think I called it out in my narrative. Um, okay. Um, look under um, uh, C eighteen. We team of a commercial struck, yes, yeah, 617.5 C18, a reuse of a commercial structure where the commercial use is a permitted use under the applicable zoning law or ordinance. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, but, but again, I mean, it's not a big issue whether it's... Yeah. Type two, you don't do secret or it's unlisted and everything's existing. Um, mm -hmm. you know, we're not creating any impacts, it'll just streamline the secret process. Um, the right. other question is my waivers um that I asked for in in my narrative, um, so that we don't have to do all these full-blown uh grading, drainage, utility, lighting, all these additional uh plan sets for the site plan. Since it is a fully developed uh, site, is is everybody okay with that? Is anything in particular that should be shown? Um, uh, one of my comments just is is, and this comes up on a lot of sites where it's an existing building and there's a change of use, is to just look at the and 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 it, it may be nothing more than going out there at dark and see what kind of lighting conditions exist because some of these are so pre-existing they have nothing and other ones are fairly well lit. So we think that that should be looked into. So, you know, the last thing we want to do is see kids tripping and falling on curbs and whatnot. So to take yeah, a look we'll, at what's there. We'll, we'll go out and we'll do an outdoor lighting survey. And um, if there are any dark areas, we'll propose um, any additional lighting. There's no dark spot in that area. Okay. All right. All right, so they'll resubmit and come back to CDRC. Is that the consensus? 
No, why do we need to go back? I don't know. I'm asking. See, DRC yeah. is planning. It's uh, up to okay. you guys. I don't make the decision. Yeah, I mean, I, I I would hope we can go up to, to planning since there's really not much to this at this point. I agree. <clears throat> okay. I have no issue with that. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Well, thank Thanks. you so much. For uh, the Chris, Chris, Lou, and John, can you stay on? Wait, can, yeah. before you before you kick me off, um, Chris, yeah. can I ask you a question? Are you handling sure. the uh, justice court in Chestnut Ridge or is somebody else? I am. am. I am. Okay. I'm going to give you a call um, later or tomorrow. Okay, great. Okay. All right. All right. I'm okay. going to stop the recording. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Paul. Bye.